everybody, it's Terrific. How you doing? Today I got a book in the mail from Suntup Editions and it's exciting. This is a book that some people took with a big surprise. A publisher like Suntup Editions doing their fine press nice stuff publishing a novelization of a movie seemed a little bit off to some folks. Even if that novelization is the omen but not me if you've watched my videos you probably have picked up over the over time that i'm a big fan of movie novelizations i started reading novelizations i want to say in about two, uh, 1996 or so i just somebody happened to give me a stack of books and one of them was a novelization for the movie time cop starring jean-claude van damme and i read the novelization after seeing the movie and i really liked it it helped to expand the story, to explain some things about the story, and to help to, to paint the character slightly different than the movie. So I became a fan. I know a lot of people don't dig them, but I do. When Suntup Editions announced that they were going to be publishing their first novelization, The Omen, I was excited because there's a lot of novelizations that I like, and this one is different. It's different in many ways, not only is the novelization uh, based, the novelization by David Seltzer, based on the screenplay for the movie written by David Seltzer, but it was released before the movie, and it sold many, many copies. Suntup Edition's website says three and a half million copies. That's a lot of books. But I've read the novelization. I've watched the movie. I've been, uh, the movie I've been a little bit lukewarm on over my life. I've seen it a few times over the years. And it's good, but not, I wouldn't put it in a, a top tier movie. It's a good movie. A movie that you watch every four or five years, if you're me. But when I read the novelization, I liked it far better. The novelization in this case, um, it helps to expand the story. It helps to add nuance to explain a few things and that's one thing that novelizations are good about but this one is different a lot of times when you're reading a novelization of a movie you feel like somebody has just jammed stuff into certain places it doesn't feel like it flows with the story a lot of times you'll get information dumped in a spot that'll help to explain stuff it's really neat but it just feels out of place this doesn't feel that way as i'm reading as i read through this book I get things where I start to wonder, wait, was that in the movie or not? Was that explained in the movie? I don't remember knowing that. Uh, so it, it feels seamless, very great book, phenomenal. And I ordered, when Suntup Editions brought it out, I ordered both the numbered edition and the artist edition. I definitely wanted the numbered edition because I love the numbered editions of Suntups, plus it's signed by the author. And if you do searches, it's I have never seen a David Seltzer signed book for sale. And it, anyway, they don't come easy. So getting a signed copy was, was a, a good thing. And then I saw the pictures and the artist edition just looked so doggone good. I had to get it. So I did. And it came in quick. Uh, four months later, uh, ballpark, within a few days of four months, it showed up at my door. Not bad. So it's here. I got the box and I got to get that box opened up. So let's get started right now. See what she looks like. Get it on my shelf and uh, move on from there. But it, sun tub days are always special days. Now the, the post office said this one was supposed to be arriving, I think tomorrow. But so it showed up a little bit early, which I'm not complaining. Not complaining at all. I... I typically pay for the slower shipping, just whatever. You're spending quite a few bucks on books. That $15 or $20 savings kind of feels right at the time when you're ordering it. And then you see other folks getting their books in four days, five days, sometimes a week before I get mine, and then I start regretting it. But this one came pretty quickly in typical Suntup Editions packaging. Look at there. That's how you protect a book thick foam form fitted to the box and the sun tup editions the omen bookmark let's see let me take a look at it why should i show you before i show myself 
Nice. So the illustrated, the book, the book illustrations, Juliana Kolosova, and I'm pretty sure I'm not saying that correctly, but that's, that's what I'll say. Beautiful illustrations. And the illustrations, quite frankly, are what made me decide I had to have an artist edition. I don't buy all the artist editions. Um, just, just the ones that are for the most special books or special features or something like that. But it took that long to decide I needed the artist edition because it just looks so nice. And this one is shrink wrapped. Not all of them come shrink wrapped. A lot of times the artist editions do, but some of them have come in a bag also like the numbered edition. So let's get this book out of the shrink wrap. That's a stressful situation for a lot of folks, myself included, because you're putting a blade very close to something that costs money, but I got a secret. And if you're nice to me, I'll let you in on the secret. The secret is you got to cut the plastic, but don't cut the book. If you cut the plastic and do not cut the book, then you'll never, ever cut the book. And that's, I mean, that's uh, just the way it is. Anyway, let's go savage. Throw it on the floor. And there it is. That's what it looks like on my shelf. Amazing. This looks to me like something that you would see in the mid to late 70s, 1976, the year of the terrific, by the way. Uh, that just coincidence. I don't think the Antichrist... I, I don't feel like I fit the bill, but anyway, you never know. <clears throat> it looks terrific, and for those of you, and this, this slipcase, it looks, it kind of looks like a nice leather, doesn't it? Suntup says it's an acrylic-coated, paper-coated slipcase embossed, and it, it looks like leather, but it's not. And then for those of you who likes to put your books on the shelf backwards, the wrong way. There you go. Suntup Editions has hooked y'all up so that you can tell what book you got on the shelf if you were to put it on their backwards. But I don't think it takes a whole lot of arguing to convince somebody that this just looks too good to put in the corner. Ah, anyway, whatever you do is whatever you do. Don't make no never mind to me. Let me pull this out of my Slip case and take a good look at this dust jacket artwork. That's what sold me. When I saw that picture, boom, sold. Got to have it. David Seltzer, The Omen. And that's amazing artwork from Juliana Kolosova. And I'm sure I'm saying that name wrong. But anyway, I never claimed to be a linguistics expert. I can't even say good English right. <clears throat> All right, let's get this excellent looking dust jacket off the book and see a little bit more about the book itself wow i didn't know this maybe i should have known this but look at the cover the cloth covered board beautiful but look what happens when i turn it holy toledo holy cow it just looks awesome the spine of the book is covered uh, uh, it's coated and stamped and it doesn't match the boards but i say it a lot this one really hurts this one hurts because if you put this book in the slip case and put it on a shelf let's just show you what it would look like it would look flipping phenomenal man <laughs> it would look so good it hurts to put it in a beautiful dust jacket and put it on the shelf it's the catch 22 in order to have the best of both worlds, you're going to have to buy two books. Tempting. Very tempting. There's only 750 copies of this artist edition, and I think it sold out. I think. I think it sold out pretty quickly. Anyway, I, I should check these things, but I did not. Uh, sold out rather quickly. There is our end papers, and you can see some texture on there, perhaps. I can see. But anyway... A plain colored end papers. Let's look through here. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to go to the signature page. The artist editions are not individually numbered. This one is limited to 750 copies. They aren't all limited to 750. Some are 
Most are, I'd say, a thousand. Some are even higher numbers, I think. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I want to say, was 1250. It was higher, higher limitation. But there's a signature from the artist. It is the artist edition. Juliana Kolosova. I said it wrong twice. Might as well say it wrong thrice. All right, so now what I want to do is take a look at some of this amazing artwork, some of which I've seen. I don't think I've seen all of the illustrations. I haven't seen any, any unboxings. This is all for you, Damien. I haven't seen any other book unboxings, and I haven't seen pictures, I don't think, of people's books that they've received. If I had, it was just a cover. So I haven't seen anything really in-depth. And yeah, these, this artwork here, I, for me, I haven't seen it all. Anyway, you're seeing it while I see it for the first time. And beautiful. Haven't read this book, read this novelization. I would say it's one of my favorite novelizations. One of them. I've got a lot that I love. But this one was tight. It didn't read like, uh, like you would think a movie novelization would read. It read like a novel. If you didn't know any better... If you read The Exorcist and watched the movie The Exorcist, read Rosemary's Baby, watched the movie Rosemary's Baby, read The Omen, watched the, the movie The Omen, and somebody asked you which one of those books was a novelization, you'd have to flip a coin because this doesn't read any differently. Phenomenal book, I think, better than the movie. Just great artwork. So the... <clears throat> The parallels between the looks of the characters in this artwork and the movie are close, but different enough so that you're you're not saying, oh, that's Gregory Peck. And that's the way I like it. Because when I read it, I start off right in the very beginning, I start off picturing the characters in this from the movie in the book, but slowly my brain starts to do its work. And I start picturing these faces in my own mind, slightly different. And that's what the book does for me. So it's another neat little touch. But The Omen by David Seltzer, Sun Tup Editions, Artist Edition, is phenomenal. I think I said it before, flipping phenomenal. I don't know if I can make that stick, but flipping phenomenal is what this is. I would buy it again. I would buy it again and again and again. Every time I'd go back in time again, I'd buy it again. Excellent book. Excellent edition. I can't wait for the numbered edition. That one's signed by the author. I don't know when it's coming out, but I'm excited for that one as well. Now, that's, uh, that's all the lies I can think of. So, thank you for your time. Please consider subscribing to the channel, and then consider it again, and then just do it, man. Subscribe. I thank you. The kids say that matters. Anyway, say la vie, baby. Doo-doo.